in Arizona, there are many landlords that are receiving the government assistance for back rent. And as soon as they get the money, <clears throat> they are evicting tenants. And they're able to get away with this because of a loophole that was left in the law. And this is the fault of your politicians for not being thorough enough to make sure something like this would not happen. You know, and it will probably discourage many people from applying for assistance. What's the point in applying for assistance and you still end up out on the street after the money is received? But this is happening all over the country. But it seems to be happening excessively in Arizona. Arizona cities and counties receive hundreds of millions of federal dollars to provide rental relief to struggling tenants during the pandemic. But thousands of Arizona renters were evicted anyway even after the landlord got the money. I mean, it's, it's a lot of dirty people out here, for real, and will continue to be because the eviction process moves faster than the government is delivering aid. Arizona law allows landlords to initiate an eviction as soon as five days after a missed rent. Rental assistance can take weeks or even months to get to the renter. When eviction moratoriums were in place, judges would postpone most evictions if a renter had applied for rental assistance and was awaiting aid. But since the final moratorium ended late August, evictions have continued without pause. Eviction filings climbed up about 91% of pre-pandemic levels in the first three months of 2022, despite the unprecedented amount available of rental assistance, alarming renter advocates. Evictions are expected to continue to increase this year unless drastic measures are taken to speed up the dispersal of rental assistance or major changes are made to the state law to slow down Arizona's eviction timeline. Neither of these are likely. So we were just talking about um, a woman that lost her job and she fell behind on her rent. She lived in a condo in Phoenix and she was able to stay in there um, because of the eviction moratorium, but she did apply for assistance. The final eviction moratorium in Arizona ended in late August when the Supreme Court struck, you know, the moratorium down. So uh, this woman was still waiting for the process of her application, but the landlord had moved forward to evict her. So, you know, the government and these politicians are at fault for this. You know, how are you going to let the landlords get all of the back rent, but they still got the ability to throw people out? See, this just go to show you, you know, our politicians right now got their mind on Ukraine and giving everything for free to these people and not enough tension is going to the people here that are really suffering. You know, it's a shame because this government and these politicians are fully aware that many people lost their jobs during the pandemic back in 2020. They are fully aware that some people were furloughed from their jobs, you know, and all of these things will impact your ability to pay rent. And they left so much of a loophole that folks can apply for assistance and it really doesn't make any difference. They get evicted anyway, or the landlord just conveniently wait for the money when they got the money all padded up in their pockets. Then they cut the tenant and throw them out. But this, you know, these are the politics of 
you know, what goes on in this evil kingdom. This is what happens. Her landlord, so this person, her landlord applied for assistance entirely uh, to her rent debt. And they apparently got it and she was locked out. So the Phoenix Emergency Rental Assistance Program requires landlord to consent to not evict a renter for 30 days, but they're not, they're bypassing all of that. My thoughts were the pandemic rental assistance was designed to keep people in their homes. The landlord didn't want me there. So she just wanted the money. The Phoenix spokesperson said that the human service department offered um, the landlord's three months of rental assistance so, you know, people could continue to stay in their apartments, but it doesn't make any difference now because that person has since been evicted. And like I said, this is their fault. So a spokesperson for the Phoenix uh, assistance, rental assistance said that, um, this woman's rental assistance was paid. So she would not have to be evicted on her record, but just providing three months of rental assistance. Um, and she now is trying to find a new place to stay. So it's been six months. See, once you got that eviction, on your um, credit, it's hard to get another place. It, it's really difficult. So six months later, the same person is still looking for an apartment that she can afford in Metro Phoenix. The federal government allocated more than $250 million for rental assistance in Metro Phoenix over the past year, more than $170 million made it to renters and landlords by mid-April 2022. The remaining money is still available and in high demand, but often arrives too late to stop an eviction. There appears to be enough relief money to prevent most every eviction. Yeah, but y'all not seeing to that. Government agencies must move faster to process the thousands of applications that are pending. Representatives from the rental assistant in Maricopa County and Mesa said it takes about 10 to 14 days to process a complete rental assistance application, but it takes much longer if applicants are missing documents which is typical. The federal government requires a significant amount of information and documentation to qualify for rental aid, which increases the process time. The feds have eased some requirements. Uh, both the tenant and landlord groups are still encouraging national and local governments to ease the process to get money out quicker. In Phoenix, more than 5,500 applicants are backlogged since early February, with about 500 new applicants coming in each week. By the end of March, the backlog dropped to 2,719. Yeah, but that doesn't help anybody. Uh, Phoenix set up an emergency rental assistance phone number in early February for people who expect uh, an imminent uh, eviction. People who receive eviction summonses have scheduled a court date, receive a judgment, or have already been evicted. So the slow pace of the rental assistance would be less concerning if the Arizona eviction process didn't move so quickly, but slow down the evictions is even less likely than uh, speeding up the rental aid process. So they're saying they're aware that many of these landlords are pocketing the money and throwing people out anyway, but it, according to the article, they're not planning on doing anything about it. 
<laughs> but y'all, I want you to keep in mind everything they're doing for Ukraine now. Just remember that. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.